Today we're going to get our dog's ears cropped. This boy right here is going to get his stitches removed. We're going to talk to everybody in there in the establishment to find out what type of crop they're getting, why they're getting it, how long it is to heal, and everything else that goes with it. And we're going to do this in three, two, one. Let's go. At the ear cropping place, as you can see, uh, we're going to remove the, the stitches on Kaboom's ears. Uh, they had to be flipped down because one of the ears curved in. And so it's been three weeks, so the stitches will be coming out. We got our boy over here, Level. We're going to be doing a show show crop with Slight Bell. And we got Mr. 305 over here. We're also going to be doing a show crop uh, with the Slight Bell. Here we're, we're right here inside of GearTrim.com. Look at the many uh, types of ear crops that we got. We got a show crop slight bell on a cane corso. We got show crop uh, straight no bell on uh, American Bully. Show crop slight bell, American Bully. Tall crop no bell. Short crop straight margin. Dogo Argentino tall crop. We got a big bell over here on cane corso. And lastly on a dogo, this is a show crop with a slight bell. <coughs> We're over here on Ear Trim here in Houston, Texas. This is the best and baddest ear cropping place in the whole of Texas. Now, I've had quite a few of you ask me, hey, where do you do your ear cropping? You know, where do you go? This is it right here. These are the only people that put their hands on our dog's ears. Over here we got Paula, and Paula, you are? A vet tech. Paula, can you tell my people out here how long it does it take for American bullies to pretty much get their ears cropped? Yeah, absolutely. So we start and at two weeks, the stitches come out. From then on, you have one week of taping. And after that one week of taping, you remove them yourself at home. So really, you only have two weeks of coming and visiting us at the clinic. What's the youngest and the oldest that you can do ear cropping? So we start at eight weeks on pretty much all breeds. And then from there on, with pit bulls and bullies, there isn't necessarily a maximum age limit. But with every pound of weight that they put on, the aftercare becomes that much more difficult. So when a dog hits about 50 pounds, basically, you have to bring them in, have the doctor look at them, and the doctor has to tell you, like, how terrible, crazy hard it's going to be to go through everything. How about Dobermans with a long cut? What's, so, what's the time frame on that? For a medium magazine crop on Dobermans, that's going to be seven weeks total of taping, five weeks after the stitches are removed. For a tall crop, that's 12 weeks total. Wow, Ten four weeks months. after stitches are removed. Yeah, all of our pickle people are lucky because the Dobermans come in for up to three months. How about cane corsos? Any difference with like American bullies? Yeah, absolutely. So the corsos go an additional week of taping, so as well as dogos, presses. So we're looking at a total of what? Four weeks? Four weeks total. Four weeks total. So you got it from Paula over here at eartrim.com. Title is doctor here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see how we're going to be doing with these beautiful dogs. This is a customer who's been coming to me for many years and I appreciate it. These dogs are beautiful. 14, his name is literally 305. 305. You can see uh, they're actually recording it on the tape. Make sure whenever you take your dog in, they do that. That way you make sure you get the right dog back. Also, as you can see, he's listening for heart murmurs. Really important before they put a dog under. No heart murmurs. I'm going to take their temperatures in the back. Okay. Let's go see what style you want. All right, you usually get the show crop, correct? Yeah. Show crop, slight bell. Okay, show crop, slight bell for these two dogs. As you can see over here on the Dobies, we got the medium magazine style right here. We got the tall crop. Over here, we got the tall crop as well on the Dane. Great Dane medium slight bell. We have a military short crop. This is the crop that a lot of people were talking about. They didn't like because it, it was too short. But it says that the ears actually stand up per, uh, rather clean. We got his boy. What's his name? Al Capone. Al Capone. Look at this tri male. What is he? A tri lilac? Talk yeah. to me. Tri lilac. Tri lilac? Yeah. Who's he off of? Do you know? Bubbles Inc. and Young uh, Lexus. Okay, look at this boy. Beautiful boy. Thank you. Six months old. What type of cut does he got? He has a short with a slight bell. Short with a slight bell. Why did you choose short with a slight bell over, say, a short crop? Well, to be honest, he really came like that. But oh, okay. I'm more of a show crop person. You like show crop? Yeah, because I take my dog out to the show every once in a while. Oh, okay. Good deal. Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever had a dog with a battle crop? Battle crop? Yeah, I did. You, you have? My first bully ever, Enzo. Well, <coughs> 
you like? Do you like the battle crop? I like battle crop. You made them real lean, real good. Real good? The way he's the way he's shaped. Have you had any type of ear problems or ear infections with a battle crop? No. How about with a show crop or a short crop? Nope. Not at all? No at all. All right, man. It's basically a show crop. This is the type of crop they do here. As you can see, this is a beautiful dog. Look at the coat on this boy. Huh? Is he a standard or is he a pocket? Alright. Over here we have King. He's two months old. Uh, he got a medium cut based on his size. That's what the owner's telling us. Here's our boy level. He just came right out. Out from surgery. As you can see, people are a little dilated and whatnot, but he's doing just fine. 305. Just got his ears cropped. Beautiful. At this moment, I'd like to invite you to our next video where we show you how we maintain our dog's ear clean after they've been cropped.